Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Wait, let me take two, take two. Maybe it's Maybelline. It's too early. Everybody, I say good morning because it is early in the morning. Now it has been years, like it, this product has been out for years and I have not been able to try it because they did not have any of the deeper shades available. But now girl, they have some and I've actually had these for like two weeks. So I'm just getting around to doing this video and I totally forgot. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oops. I totally forgot to put a primer on. Wait a minute. It pulls off. Okay. I'm trying another primer for the first time. This is the Hourglass Mineral Primer Veil or Veil Mineral Primer. And I'm just going to give it a try today. I feel like it. Oh shoot. Should I have not done this today? I'm looking all pink and purple. What? The birthday? All right. We're going to roll with it. But anyway, um, you guys are not going to believe this, but I'm not correcting today because I really don't have time. I gotta get out of here. Maybe this is supposed to like illuminate. I don't know. There goes the skin. Like that makes me look weird. So anyway, I'm not doing a corrector on my face and I'm not doing a corrector under my eye. So we will really get to see if this concealer really does what it's supposed to do. So I did use this already. That's why it looks like this. I have the shade um, Caramel, Caramel Caramel, whatever floats your boat in this one and then i have the shade tan in this one and i believe tan is a tad bit deeper and uh caramel has a little more yellow to it that's why i got it a little more golden oh the eraser dark circle is protected with an antimicrobial system do not wet applicator wipe off excess eye concealer with dry tissue only okay do not wet it and it's supposed to help dark circles. So it looks like I don't even need a corrector. How about that? Since we are using the Maybelline product, I figured why not just go in with my Maybelline foundation? This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I did a review video on this foundation. Yes, it definitely made me look all Oompa Loompa-ish, but it's kind of like the Rihanna foundation in that it like, it kind of sets after a minute, you know what I mean? So it is so weird doing this without corrector y'all. But um, I'm popping her on with no corrector Ooh. and if you hear noise in the background that is mini mini me getting ready because you know she's a senior in high school and it's super early and we gotta go now that it's married with my skin the foundation and my skin are one and it's not too shabby without corrector now we're gonna go in with the concealer and i'm gonna share with you guys like a little trick of like how i rock my concealers so usually i mix concealers you guys Usually I do that because there's not one concealer that is like my perfect highlight shade, but then there's another reason why I do it as well. I like to take the darker concealer and put it like directly under my eye. Well, not way up here, but like the higher part under my eye, if that makes sense. And then I take the lighter part and do more of the highlighting down here. Because as you guys know, when you highlight, it attracts, right? It brings attention to certain areas that you highlight. It makes them stand out a little bit more. Now I have some lines under my eyes. So a lot of times when I use like a really bright concealer under my eye, it accentuates those areas and I don't like that. That is just my preference. That's just how I get down. So it says you have to turn it a few times. We're gonna use the tan first because I think the tan is darker. It said a, a few clicks, honey. That was, I don't know. There we go. One thing I did learn about using this on my first impression, because it's kind of like a second, okay? But one thing I have learned about this stuff is that you only need a little bit. Like I went in and I was like, oh shoot, I don't need all that. And that, if you put too much, that could cause creasing too. So I am not trying to do a lot. Let's just take, oh yeah, this is definitely darker. This is the tan. And this way you get to see both shades. So then we take the caramel and I'm gonna put it right under there. As you guys see, it's a tad bit lighter, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm putting too much. One thing though, it's hard to kind of get it right here because it's that round applicator. So I usually do not wear makeup during the week, y'all. Now they said to take the excess off. Oh my God, it's a lot on there. <gasps> You see that? So usually I do not do all this during the week, y'all. I don't even wear makeup during the week like this, but I wanted to do this um, first impression or second impression, I guess. And I am gonna take my other camera because I do wanna carry you guys with me throughout the day. I do have a pretty long day, so I want you to see how it wears. But keep in mind, keep in mind, 
my underarm, underarm, <laughs> keep in mind, my under eye area does not play fair. All right. So if you do see creasing, it may not happen to you. Okay. But I crease in almost everything. So that's why I'm going to show you throughout the day so you can see how it wears. But I am definitely impressed with the way that it just blends. Do y'all see that? You got, I didn't even correct. I didn't correct. This is great. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Wait, let me take two, take two. Maybe it's Maybelline. It's too early. It sets kind of on its own. I'm definitely gonna set with the powder because we are not playing that, especially I'm having it on all day. You see how that pretty much set? But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my foundation brush that has a little foundation on it and I'm just gonna, especially because I'm not contouring or anything, I'm just gonna go around the areas where I have that highlight so that it blends. I'm using my Graftobian powder and set that. I'm not doing any contouring on my cheeks. I'm not doing a contour on my nose. I'm not doing any of that today. And you guys, I usually don't even wear contacts during the week, okay? So like, I'm literally doing this for y'all, okay? Do it for the gram, no, I'm just kidding. Do it for the tube, I ain't gonna do it. Get like, no dark circles. It looks bright and nice and I am mad. Let's see how it goes. Things are working for my good, yeah, yeah. Okay, pause. All right, so um, let me try. Oh, okay, the lighting is just right. So I wanted to show you guys in the daylight before I forget. I think that we're going on like two hours. So let me give you like a little close up. So here we go, okay? Keep in mind, y'all, that, you know, my under eyes are different, y'all. I have like lines under there and creasing happens for me no matter what I use. But this is early. This is two hours, okay? And um, yeah, right in there, I'm not feeling that right there. But the coverage of it, the way that it looks on my skin, the way that it blends with the foundation, it looks really, really great. So as far as that goes, all is well, all is good. But on event days and stuff like that, I will more than likely have to use another concealer that is more like my Estee Lauder Double Wear Oh my gosh, that's bomb. I definitely will show you at around, I don't know, maybe like 4 p.m. today, maybe at the end of the day after I do rehearsal and all that good stuff, all right? So I will keep y'all posted. Pinky promise, just stay tuned. What's up, good people? Hey, so, oh, I don't know if y'all can really see me. Oh, let me get in. Oh, the sun is bright though. So I've had this, oh my gosh, y'all, oh my gosh. I've had this concealer on for nine hours, okay? Now, I mean, it's not bad for nine hours, but I will say, like I said, if it's an event day, I'm not going to be able to do it because I got some major creasing. Look at that, especially over here. But again, I told y'all, like my under eyes are some tiny and they don't play fair. So that's what this one is looking like. Look at all that right there. Oh my gosh. And right there. But if you do not have a major creasing problem like that, this concealer is great. Like the areas where I put it right here still looks flawless. It gives me a nice little highlight. It's pretty bomb. I just need something that has a little more staying power. But as far as concealing dark circles, I may still use it under there because I don't even have to use a corrector. So I may still use it to correct. And then put another concealer on top of it or something. I don't know. Because I found something on the site that I did not see on the packaging. This is considered a treatment, y'all. Super concentrated formula with goji berry and haloxyl, if I said that right, or haloxyl. Haloxyl? I think it's haloxyl. It helps to erase the appearance of dark circles and fine lines while visibly diminishing the appearance of puffiness around the eyes. So it is considered a treatment. A treatment concealer. It is not just your average concealer. All right, guys, I decided to come on and close this video out and show you what I'm working with, what I'm working with. I'm very sleepy though. Five hours later since the last time we talked, okay? Like, it's not horrible. This one really creased right there. But then when you look at it like this, it's not horrible. So is it a good product? Absolutely. Like they did that, especially right here. You still see the brightness. Like it didn't fade away or anything. My dark circles didn't come back other than like right up in the crease area because it's breaking up. But that's not bad to have it on for like, I don't know, total of what, 10 hours or something like that. I'm not sure. I didn't do the calculations. Actually, no. Hold up. 
it's more than 12 hours for sure, for sure. But the foundation is looking good. Now, let me tell you, I got a little, um, I gotta tell you about this right here. So it was really cold today. So I kept blowing my nose. And so the foundation is kind of like, you know, gone right, right up and through here, but it's all good. Another thing I want to tell y'all, when I reviewed this foundation, I told you guys that it's like an oily mess, but here's the thing, you guys, that hourglass veil primer did that. Like, I did not, I haven't blot anywhere, but it looks nothing like it did when I first did the review. You feel me? So check out that review if you haven't already. And just know that if you change up your primer, it'll probably work better for you. But that is it on the concealer. The concealer, thumbs up girl, especially if your um, under eyes aren't like fickle or sometimey like mine. I love you guys so much. You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Tiki beauty. Yeah, Tiki beauty.